Welcome to Rota's Reviews of Black Metal. Today's band is a new band. It's called Ikuturso, which is a kind of an ancient uh, god in Finnish mythology related to such pagan terms as Thurisas and many, many others. Not going deeper into the mythology, let's take a look of this band and the album in question. So, here is the CD, which kind of shows the style of the Great Tower album. This is the cover and the booklet. And this is the debut album of this band, which is kind of a, uh, international. Uh, this is the funny quote, actually, that also is shown on the, in the pages of this band, Black Metal, The Sound of Black Metal 1995. And um, the funny thing is that this actually reminds me a lot of uh, Norwegian black metal albums, especially two couple of different bands from Norway. That is Bursum and Emperor. And this is kind of the unholy child of those two. The music on this album pretty much is summed here with the idea of this booklet. Very old school kind of but not the first wave but more of the uh, second wave stuff that is the feeling of 1990s lyrics are all here all here and the imagery or the style everything is just basically very 90s even these kind of um, portrait images here which remind not just only dissection but other bands as well, Emperor mostly, I guess. And the overall design with this album is very much like a black metal flashback. Now, the music, when I say it's all about Bruzum and Emperor, is the weird thing that it kind of, you know, borrows the ideas from Bruzum's melodic riffs. You get the idea if you listen to the first few albums. All the feeling, all the atmosphere, all the, you know, the melodic kind of way of creating that kind of riffs, it's all there. Not maybe as good, but it's clear, it's, you know, well copied or borrowed, like it usually said. But it's also stuff of, you know, lots of Emperor vibes. It's kind of a, a balancing between the more for, for forward way of, you know, uh, doing black metal, you know, versus person and a bit more raw, and then again having this Emperor's more of epic way of uh, doing songs. The thing is that while they are creating these ideas of, you know, mix and match between these ideas, um, the overall feeling is really good. There are a few complaints which actually drop this from being an A series band to the level beyond. And the thing is the vocals are not that good, at least in the beginning part, the beginning of the album. This sort of, you know, howling vocals, I don't know, maybe there's idea to grasp something unearthly, inhuman or whatever, but in my opinion it's also failing at that because it kind of sounds like pathetic. I don't know if you like that, but in my ears it's kind of poorly executed. The other thing which kind of bothers me in this album is just those weak guitar sounds and the mix of the whole uh, production. The thing is, while I'm totally not against, you know, having raw, primitive, harsh sounds, you know, like the uh, Iliarn and other primitive bands, early Judas Iscariot or bands like Hot or whatever, um, the thing is that, you know, this is just weak. It's not so much about being primitive and, you know, having this kind of a primordial feeling with those, you know, like, let's have these, you know, evil grim sounds and, you know, like, lo-fi stuff. Yeah, you can be lo-fi as fuck, but you also can make it, you know, strong and cutting and straight to the flesh. And this is where this band fails at. Because the thing is that, to me, this is more of a butter knife rather than a strike of a steak knife, if you get my meaning. But that is 
you know, no problem when it comes to the overall feeling of this album. And Iku Turso has done, I think, a great job, you know, connecting the dots between kind of Finnish mythology and yet having these international musicians from uh, uh, two different countries and creating this kind of a Norwegian vibe, but still having something on their own in the music. So there's a lot to be expected from this band in the future, I think, because The Great Tower is in fact a good debut album. Surely there are minor faults and flaws here and there, but they don't matter in the end. Even the production is kind of um, easily forgiven because it's not the you know, deciding factor whether this album is actually good. And when it comes to those vocals, yeah, you get used to them if you just like the music in the first place. It's not like they are horrible, they are not that, you know, far out like um, some albums which I now cannot remember. Maybe Jormund Gond by Helheim, probably, which have really unique vocals. These don't take as much getting used to as that album. But anyway, I think this is uh, definitely something worth checking out. So if you are into 19, between 1995 albums of Scandic or Nordic black metal, this is stuff you want to check out. So check out Iku Turso and The Great Tower. That's all for me. Thank you for watching and hope you come back for more reviews to hit your viewing pleasure. As always, stay.